This is CNN Breaking News. We have breaking news in our world lead. A massive earthquake just hit Japan, this off the coast of Fukushima. And the country's national broadcaster says that a tsunami is minutes away from hitting Japan's shores. I want to get right to our Jennifer Gray. She is in the CNN Severe Weather Center. Jennifer, we're getting reports of some buildings in Tokyo still shaking from what is a very large earthquake. Some evacuations now ordered as well. Yeah, not only was this a large earthquake, Jim, but it was a very shallow one. This was a 7.3 and only 10 kilometers deep. So the more shallow the quake is, the more you're going to feel it. Let's show you exactly where this is because it did occur offshore by about 50 uh, kilometers. And so we are still still getting information in about it, but it did happen about 50 miles or 50 kilometers rather offshore. And so those tsunami waves should be coming very, very soon. And we're expected to see uh, uh, the waves up to a meter in height, which is about three feet or so. So everyone along the coast around Fukushima ex told to go inland, get to higher ground as fast as you can. Of course, it's the wee hours of the morning there, uh, just after six o'clock or so. And so folks are just urged to get to higher ground. Of course, there's a nuclear power plant that was impacted by the big quake just a couple of years ago, of course. But 7.3, that's a big one, Jim, and it's also extremely shallow at only 10 kilometers. Now, is there any concern in the level of uh, earthquake act activity that Japan has seen and elsewhere in the region in, in recent weeks and months? Well, you know, we just had that one in New Zealand. I don't think there's there's huge concern. Of course, with this particular one being a 7.3, we may feel some aftershocks, things like that in the coming minutes, hours, and even days. Um, but we are just right now, the tsunami waves, of course, being the, the biggest concern and those folks getting to higher ground. And people along that coastline, they know the dangers of this all too well. Jennifer yeah. Gray, thanks very much. Thanks. He bashed Hillary Clinton for what he called pay to play. But Donald Trump is walking a very fine line when it comes to his own business dealings and the number of potential conflicts of interest really just staggering. 